Well, as you drive into Charleston, you've probably seen that mysterious skywalk that's kind of loomed over the city since the 1970s. Well, not many know what it is, what it's called, or why it's even there. But in the coming weeks, everyone in the city will know its name. Eyewitness News reporter Ava Rash has the details on how Charleston's long-abandoned skywalk, now deemed the Capitol Hill Walkway, is being demolished 50 years after its creation. A walkway full of stories, standing silently for decades. The three large futuristic towers and walkway abandoned and closed for more than 30 years, longer than it was ever used. I guess it sounded like a good idea, but it never really made a whole lot of sense. Unfortunately, right after it was being built, or was built rather, uh, there was a lot of problems with it, and the problems got worse over time. That Capitol Hill walkway finally coming down. But all that stuff is just there. It's not being used. It's deteriorating. So in the project, we have included the demolition of that entire walkway. It's all part of the Bigley Avenue interchange cleaning and painting project by the Department of Highways. The $27 million project includes the painting and coating of interstate bridges and ramps, plus the demolition. They'll be doing a total removal of all those various walkway components and the time that we're in in the project where they can't really do a lot of the painting and coating, this is the perfect time for them to be doing that. The planning stages are already underway with workers preparing to remove major pieces of the walkway. Over the next few months, people should anticipate seeing a lot of demolition work. The towers covered in graffiti, caution tape hangs on railings, the mountainside and structures overgrown and dilapidated. But the walkway wasn't always an eyesore. It was built in the 1970s to replace public stairways coming off of Capitol Hill. It stayed open for about 20 years, but became notorious for crime. There was prostitution, there was drug dealing, and this was way before the explosion of drugs. And there were a lot of assaults. A walkway built to connect communities turning deadly. It was uh, dark, it wasn't well lit, and you were basically trapped in there. In April of 1994, Darnita Penn was found stabbed and slashed across the face in the walkway. By July of that year, homeowners on Capitol Hill had enough, saying the walkway had become a place for drunks, drug deals, and crime. It's uh, filthy, and it isn't uh, good for children to walk down, and uh, it's also unsafe. According to our Eyewitness News records, the walkway was shut down around August of that year. Since then, it's been vacant and a safety issue. In the long term, it'll get to a point where it, it could be a safety issue. That's probably the most important thing. So you just got a lot of unnecessary structure there that has safety issues, has long-term viability issues, and there's really no particular reason for it to still be there. In the coming weeks, the east end of Charleston's interstate is going to look very different, but parts of the old structure will remain. Some pieces that support that walkway are actually extensions of some of the support for the, for the roadway itself. So as much of that walkway that we can remove without affecting any of the roadway elements will be gone. 50 years of death, drugs and decay being demolished. In Charleston, Ava Rash, Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Ava. Now, there will be lane closures in the future, and signboards will go up on the interstate to warn drivers of any closures.